Once, Planet Aurelia was the sector's crown jewel, home to billions of souls. Then came the warp storms. They pushed Aurelia into a new orbit and cased the planet in ice. But now, Planet Aurelia has returned, and a signal is coming from its surface. My name is Daniel Kading. I am the lead designer for Chaos Rising, the expansion pack for Dawn of War 2. Dawn of War 2 is a real-time strategy game where you command the Space Marines, superhuman warriors who battle to protect mankind from alien forces. Chaos Rising takes place one year after the conclusion of Dawn of War 2. A brand new campaign where you have to deal with the evil machinations of your arch enemies, Chaos. Forces of Chaos are the legendary arch-enemies of the Space Marines. They're hateful, murderous, and they want nothing more than to bring down everything for which the Space Marines stand. They are demonic infusions of men, and bringing them down will require more firepower than you've had to use against any other opponents. You'll find the Chaos Space Marines themselves, armed with bolters, heavy weaponry, and dark magic, as well as demonic forces. Joining your side in this fight against the forces of chaos is Jonah the Librarian. He is a powerful psychic caster. He can equip spells in the same way that most units equip accessories, but he can then equip focus items for those spells that will transform them. So what might have started out as, say, a fireball that would ignite a single unit on fire can be transformed into a massive explosive. There is a command console inside the perimeter. Every casualty to the gate. Aerial We've also introduced the new corruption system. Corruption is a choice. It is an alternative way of playing the game. It's not a penalty. You have to make the choice to become evil. The results of corruption are huge and widespread. They touch everything in the game, including the sorts of abilities you get, what sorts of traits you can unlock, what sorts of war gear you can equip, both good and bad. There is more than one ending to this game, and how it plays out will depend on how corrupt or pure your forces are come the ending. The world environments in Chaos Rising are absolutely gorgeous. Every time you visit them, uh, we wanted you to be amazed. We have two new environments. You'll be fighting on the surface of planet Aurelia, on literally an ice-encased city. The ground itself will be rupturing and breaking and erupting in front of you as chaos rips the planet into pieces and chunks of it are left suspended in midair, held aloft by demonic forces. One of the other new environments that will be appearing in Chaos Rising is that of a Space Hulk. It's derelict, giant spacefaring ghost ship. And you will need to foray into it in order to solve the mysteries in Chaos Rising. All the missions in Chaos Rising in the campaign are completely unique. There is a massive variety of objectives that you will be accomplishing over a wide variety of maps. You'll visit a few familiar locales from the previous campaign, but they too have changed substantially since you last saw them in Dawn of War 2. Chaos Rising features a new level skew going up to level 30, a huge variety of brand new war gear, brand new traits, abilities, more of everything that made Dawn of War 2 itself amazing. Chaos Rising is coming in March 2010, and we certainly hope that you enjoy it as much as we've enjoyed making it.